Welcome back, beautiful bastards. Today we're diving into a serious and often overlooked issue in the United States prostitution. We'll be discussing the top 10 cities where this activity is most prevalent, looking at the factors that contribute to these rankings and examining the social and economic complexities that surround this often misunderstood issue. We're gonna shine a light on it, talk about the human stories behind the statistics, and hopefully get a better grasp of this complex issue. So grab your thinking caps, beautiful bastards, because we're about to break down the top 10 U.S. cities with the most prostitution. All right, kicking off our list at number one, we've got the city that never sleeps, New York City. NYC has consistently ranked high in terms of prostitution arrests and reported cases. Economic disparity, coupled with a transient population, can create an environment where sex work thrives. New York attracts millions of tourists every year, some looking for more than just the Empire State Building. This creates a market, and where there's a market, there are people willing to fill that demand. It's a complex issue with layers of legal and ethical gray areas. Behind every number is a human story, often complex, nuanced, and heartbreaking. Coming in at number two on our list is the City of Angels, Los Angeles. Prostitution is a major issue in LA and it's not just confined to one area. One of the factors contributing to LA's ranking is the presence of a large and vulnerable homeless population. Another factor is the city's proximity to the Mexican border, which makes it a hub for human trafficking. LA is a city that thrives on image, on fantasy, and on instant gratification. The internet has also played a significant role in facilitating sex work, making it easier for both buyers and sellers to connect discreetly. Behind the facade of Hollywood, there's a human cost to this industry. Next up, we've got Sin City itself, Las Vegas, coming in at number three. But what might surprise you is that prostitution is actually illegal in Las Vegas. Nevada law allows for legal prostitution in licensed brothels, but only in certain counties, and Clark County, where Vegas is located, is not one of them. This creates a legal loophole that some argue actually makes sex work more dangerous because it pushes it underground, away from any kind of regulation or oversight. Proponents argue that legalizing and regulating prostitution would give sex workers legal protections, reduce trafficking, and allow for health checks and regulation. As long as there's a demand for it, and as long as there are people willing to take the risks, prostitution will continue to be a part of the fabric of Las Vegas. Coming in at number four is the Windy City, Chicago. Today, it remains a significant issue, with law enforcement agencies constantly working to combat sex trafficking and street prostitution. The city is a crossroads for interstate highways and railways, making it easier for traffickers to move victims in and out undetected. While Chicago boasts a thriving downtown area and affluent neighborhoods, there are also pockets of extreme poverty and concentrated disadvantage. Chicago also has a significant gang presence and some gangs have been known to engage in sex trafficking as a lucrative source of income. The good news is that there are organizations doing incredible work on the ground in Chicago to combat this issue. Groups like the Chicago Alliance for Freedom and Healing KFH, provide support to survivors of sex trafficking, helping them rebuild their lives and escape the cycle of exploitation. Number five on our list brings us to Houston, Texas. The city's location, close to the Mexican border and with a major international airport, makes it a prime target for traffickers. Vulnerable individuals, often young runaways or those struggling with addiction, are lured from other parts of Texas and across state lines, only to be forced into prostitution against their will. Law enforcement agencies in Houston are actively working to combat this issue, forming specialized units and task forces dedicated to investigating and prosecuting trafficking cases. One of the key challenges is identifying victims, many of whom are afraid to come forward due to fear of their traffickers or distrust of law enforcement. Organizations like Children at Risk work tirelessly to provide outreach, support, and resources to victims of sex trafficking, helping them escape their exploitative situations and begin the long process of healing and recovery. It's a battle fought on multiple fronts, raising awareness, providing support to victims, and relentless pursuit of the criminals who profit from this horrific industry. Coming in at number six on our list is Miami, Florida. Prostitution is a prevalent issue in Miami, fueled by a combination of factors, including tourism, a transient population, 
and economic disparities. Miami's status as a major tourist destination attracts millions of visitors each year, some of whom are seeking more than just sunshine and beaches. The city's transient population, with people constantly moving in and out, also contributes to the issue. Another factor is the presence of a large wealth gap in Miami. This economic disparity can make individuals, particularly young women and transgender individuals, more vulnerable to exploitation and force them into sex work as a means of survival. At number seven on our list, we have Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta's location at the intersection of several major interstate highways makes it a strategic location for traffickers. The city's booming economy, while attracting businesses and investment, also contributes to the demand for sex work. Law enforcement agencies in Atlanta are aware of the problem and have made efforts to combat sex trafficking. They conduct sting operations, target online platforms used to solicit sex work, and work to raise awareness about the issue. Organizations like Street Grace are working to combat sex trafficking in Atlanta by providing prevention education, raising awareness in the community, and advocating for stronger laws and policies to protect victims. Coming in at number eight is San Francisco, California. The influx of highly paid tech workers has created a lucrative market for high-end escort services, often operating discreetly online and catering to a clientele with disposable income. San Francisco has also seen a rise in street prostitution, particularly in areas like the Tenderloin District, which has long struggled with poverty, drug use, and crime. Law enforcement agencies in San Francisco face the challenge of addressing both the visible street prostitution and the more hidden world of online escort services. They have conducted stings targeting both buyers and sellers, and they work to raise awareness about the signs of sex trafficking and how to report it. Organizations like the San Francisco Collaborative Against Human Trafficking work to provide services to victims of sex trafficking, advocate for policy changes, and raise awareness about the issue in the community. At number nine on our list, we have Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. As a major metropolitan area and a hub for international travel, Washington, D.C. attracts a transient population which can make it easier for traffickers to operate undetected. The city's affluent neighborhoods and high concentration of power also create a demand for both high-end escort services and street prostitution. One of the challenges in addressing prostitution and sex trafficking in Washington, D.C. is the presence of diplomatic immunity which can shield individuals from prosecution, even if they are involved in illegal activities. Law enforcement agencies in Washington, D.C. are actively working to combat sex trafficking. They conduct sting operations, target online platforms used to solicit sex work, and collaborate with federal agencies to investigate and prosecute trafficking rings. Organizations like Fair Fund, Fund for Investigations and Reporting, play a vital role in raising awareness about sex trafficking in Washington, D.C and advocating for stronger laws and policies to protect victims. Rounding out our list at number 10 is Detroit, Michigan. The city's economic struggles, including high unemployment rates and concentrated poverty, have created an environment where some individuals turn to sex work as a means of survival. Detroit's location on the U.S.-Canada border also makes it a target for sex trafficking as traffickers exploit the city's vulnerabilities to move victims across international borders. Law enforcement agencies in Detroit are aware of the problem and have made efforts to combat sex trafficking and prostitution. They conduct stings, target online platforms used to solicit sex work, and work to build relationships with community members to encourage reporting and provide support to victims. Organizations like Alternatives for Girls play a crucial role in providing services to at-risk and exploited girls in Detroit, offering safe housing, counseling, educational opportunities, and job training to help them break free from the cycle of exploitation. So there you have it, beautiful bastards, the top 10 U.S. cities with the most prostitution. It's a heavy topic, I know, but it's important to remember that these aren't just numbers on a screen. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more deep dives into important issues. Stay informed, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.